Hey everyone, it's me Alex and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to hook up a PC, any computer, to a Samsung Digital Signage DC32E. So in this video, I'll go over all the connections you need. And um, what's cool about this display is that it has all the inputs you can imagine. It has VGA, DVI, HDMI, AV, and it's really cool. So let's say your PC doesn't even have HDMI, it's an older one. Well, it has DVI or VGA, whichever one you prefer. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all this. This is what's cool about the DC32E, all these inputs up in the bottom right here is VGA. And all right here, as you can see, it's DVI, HDMI, and everything. So I'm gonna go over through each uh, connection type. So I'm gonna go, the, the things you'll need is your uh, power cable for your display, uh, HDMI cable, a VGA cable, or a DVI, and your Samsung remote to select the input. So uh, this, you don't need all of them, depending on, you wanna look at your PC and see which input you need. So in case you need HDMI, okay, my PC takes HDMI. I can use HDMI. No, it doesn't. I only use VGA. Okay, then you need VGA. Oh, only DVI, then only DVI. Start off with uh, DVI. Oop, oop. I'm going to go ahead and start with DVI. And so I'm going to go ahead and start by plugging in my Samsung TV, my display. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And let me go ahead and plug it into power in the back. There you go. So... You'll see a red light down here. As you can see. PC. Of course, I have this cable in the way. It's the power. But let me go ahead and take out my PC. So I said we're going to start with DVI first. So I already have this PC connected to a monitor. So it might act like an extended monitor. But this is cool for your business. If you want to have like a slideshow. Like let's say you have like a slideshow. But you don't want to connect like Magic Info or anything. Free. And this does this uh, monitor does support up to six. the DC32E version supports up to 16 hours of uh, daily screen time. Uh, 16, so this right here is the DVI input. Sorry if you can't see that. Let me go ahead and get it. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Let's go ahead and plug it, there we go. I'm not gonna go ahead and put it back in because I'm gonna try out all the other functions. So let's go ahead and plug it into my uh, DC. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in, I'm sorry. It's, I'm not gonna be able to get the camera back there. Let me go ahead and plug it in, let's see. Just right here, as you can see, you're gonna clip it on. I don't know if you can see this either. Oops, there we go. You can tie in the screws, but I'm not, because I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it again. As you can see, now we're plugged in. And let's go ahead and turn it so on. So from here, now it becomes handy to get your remote. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on. The monitor in the back also turned on. <laughs> it's also a Samsung monitor. Let's go ahead and turn on our computer. I don't know if you heard that, that's the noise turning on. But you can see this HDMI 1. We uh, right now have it on DVI, so that's not going to work. So we need to switch it by selecting the source button right here on the remote. We're going to go ahead and select DVI. There we go. As you can see, it's black because right now it's acting like an external monitor. Let me, hold on, let me clear the screen in the back. Let me go ahead and get logged in. Sorry about this. So if, if you did not have uh, another screen and this was your main screen, it would it would not it won't even be black. It would just show the main computer screen. So let's say your Windows Home screen. But since I already have it connected to a monitor in the back, let me go ahead and just remind me later. That's there you go. But wait a minute, as you can see, well, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it looks kind of dark. Let's say okay, that's kind of dark. That does not match to my. Let me see if I can turn off the light to show you. Let's see, that's kind of dark. So let's say, no, I wanted to match my business uh, format. So I'm going to click on menu. That's too dark. And then you can go ahead and select on, oh, sorry, one in the back, it's acting crazy. You know, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the one in the back because I don't need it. Sorry about that. So as you can see, we can select, oops, in, uh, information or advertisement. You can see the difference. The advertisement looks so much better, more clear, or information. But let's say I don't like advertisement. Maybe it cuts off, or like it's too bright for some things. So what you can do is click on the um, information, but you can turn off the eco sensor. So automatically, it's the eco solution. So you can see the eco sensor. So it automatically up, uh, adjusts it to the brightness, uh, brightness of the room. So let's say the room is dark. It goes darker. It, like if it changes, I kind of pr prefer you just keep it on one brightness. Let's say we just keep it, oops, no, it's sound mode. Let's say we do just advertisement. I'll keep it on advertising for the rest of the video. Let's say this matches my business. I want to advertise my stuff. So yeah, this is good. So now let me go ahead and get my other monitor in the back turned on. And this is where you can do some settings. So let's say, let me turn on, let me see if I can bring the settings over. There we go. So let's say right now, as you can see, I had to drag it over. I did, like it's not in the back now, it's showing something else. So what you can do is click on display. And as you can see right now, we're uh, different. This is the number two. So let's say we want it to be exactly the same. We want to show the same stuff. So we click here. 
expand, project. We want to do duplicate. So there we go. Now, as you can see, we're showing exactly the same. So this is cool if you just have one screen, but it shows the, uh, the what do you call it? You want to show the same stuff. So let's say on the back, you have one computer connected to two monitors, which is what happen, happens in a, in a business because you want to show the content in all the places. So probably du duplicate would be the best. So of course, you just have one PC for each screen. Then you would go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here because I have a video uh, little clip I want to show you and then I'll be right back. So right here, let's say this is our PowerPoint, our slideshow. We want to show this. So let's say, let's say you have a video in here you want to show why you're, uh, why you have it connected to your business. So we're going to click on the next arrow, audio demos. I'm going to just one of my videos and we're just going to go see the audio. Because you can see DVI, oops, sorry, DVI does not pass sound. So as you can see, the, the, the what's cool about this screen, it does have a built-in 10 watt speaker. So it's cool if you want to show some content with audio. But as you can see with DVI, well, this video will teach you how to get everything started. Oh, sorry. First, I'm going to go over the box. That's the screen in the back. That's not this one. So you can click your volume up. There's no audio on this one. So if you want to pass audio using DVI, you're going to need to have to pass a 3.5 millimeter cable to audio in on the display and then audio headphones on your PC. If you don't, if you don't need to do this and you just want to show like content, like content like this, then you don't need to. There's no need to show the content like with audio. You don't need to pass the 3.5. So yeah, that's DVI. Now let's go ahead and try. So now I'm going to go ahead and disconnect our DVI cable. I'm just going to go ahead and go to the normal picture setting. Yeah, let's go to our VGA connector, uh, VGA cable. So it's time for this one to go away. <laughs> and now we're going to use our VGA cable. So my PC does have a VGA cable uh, connection. Sorry. VGA is mostly universal in all displays. Usually all monitors have VGA, but not the new ones anymore. There we go. We're connected now. So now let's go ahead and select on source again, because now we're longer on DVI. We're going to select PC, which is VGA. And there we go. It's going to go ahead and auto adjust the screen. So there we go. Again, we have our presentation. But as you can see, again, this also does not pass audio. There's no audio for this. Uh, VGA also does not pass audio. You again need to pass a 3.5 to audio in on the display and then to audio at. Again, the same thing you can do. Uh, let me turn off the back. You can do a uh, menu. And switch the picture settings, as you can see, advertisement or information. As you can see, you can see the difference. It does do a difference in the brightness. I'll just keep it on information. So that's VGA, similar to um, uh, DVI. So bye-bye, VGA. Let's go ahead and unplug the VGA connector. So now, the last but not least, the newer HD cable, HDMI. So let's go ahead and plug in. I think we all know how the connections look on HDMI. If you don't... <laughs> And this monitor, um, the DC32E commercial screen has one, has two of them on the DC32E. Some other commercial TVs only have one. So you have to want to look on that, that. You can plug it on one or two, it doesn't matter. Now, I think I'm going to have to unplug it, but let's see, source. Now we're going to switch the source again to one or two, whatever, whichever one you selected. And I'm going to switch it to two because the two actually does have the setting for PC and it makes it look better. There you go. Again, so let's see if we, did we lose our presentation? Did we? Uh, no, it's right here. Let's go back to one. As you can see, we're sliding again. It looks so much clearer. You can tell the difference. Again, you want to switch to the picture mode. You click on menu, information, or advertisement. I'm just going to click information. And the difference about all of them, this one does have sound. So the best one would be sound. As you can, I mean, sorry, uh, you can click volume up. Someone can be singing with the... It's playing from the monitor speaker of the DC32. But sometimes people say, I don't hear any sound. Why is it not working? Well, you want to check the sound on your computer. So you can see right now we have it at 100. If you have it like at 2, if you click all the way, it's not going to go up. So you want to make sure it's all the way at 100. And go ahead and click play. Is your or uh, uh, additional wireless sub mic. So this is optional. 
So that's pretty much it. How you, that's how you connect a PC to a Samsung DC32E. It's really nice. I prefer HDMI. I mean, if you do want to pass sound, it'll be the best. You don't have to pass a lot as much cables, let's say, to audio out, audio in, and all that. Uh, this does also support audio out. So if you want to connect this to, if you do want to pass sound via HDMI, but you want to connect it to, let's say, a sound system you have on your store, then you can go ahead and plug it into audio out. And let's actually go over the sound settings now that I'm here. Okay, so here we are in the YouTube Music Library, and we're going to go ahead and test out the 10 watt speaker just in case you're curious if you are going to use audio to see how it sounds so as so i don't get copyright claims on my videos i'm just going to go ahead and use the copy uh copy, the audio library from youtube studio so let's go ahead and click play you can see that's 20 percent on standard mode now let's go ahead and do uh music More, of course, if it's for music, it matches the music. Movie. Clear voice. Doesn't sound too good because... Doesn't sound too good because clear voices if you're gonna use uh, voices in your videos, so... Amplify just makes it clearer so you can hear better. And standard. And then you could also put mess with the equalizer that one added to the bass and then if you can hear that i'm just gonna erase it so yeah i mean if you are gonna use like simple for videos i mean it will do good of course if you want to play to loud audience and want to think you think that this would be the best speaker for everything uh well depends so i mean it does do the job i mean it sounds good. Sorry, I turned it down. I want to see if I can use a... Oh, I'll use this in one of my videos. So you get the idea. It does do good. And yeah, that was my review on the Samsung DC32E and how to connect your PC to the Samsung DC32E. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. And let me know in the comments if you would buy this display. I mean, it's a good display overall. It does a lot of functions that... And I like the runtime on this. And this does support 16 hour runtime on the Samsung website. The DC32E is for 16 hours seven days a week and the rest are the dm and of course the higher versions are 24 hours so this is meant for like if you have a business but aren't always open 24 7 so if you want to go ahead and show some content and um and of course if you're like an airport or something like that of course then you need the dm version will make it 24 7 operation so it's always constantly running so i hope you found this video helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe and turn on the bell so you can get notified every time i post a new video see you guys next time in my next video bye